I've always wanted to be a scientist uh, from like second grade. I would beg my mom to go to the zoo or science museums and just science has always been something that interested me. And I just love the curiosity aspect of it. The fact that we're learning something that nobody else knows yet. And that's probably my favorite part. The medical school has has a long history of support and encouragement to the undergraduate science programs at Mercer and we continue in that vein. Our scientists are willing partners with undergraduate students and that have, we have helped to uh, allow them to achieve high honors in science through their work in our labs. We're glad to continue in that effort. We think it's an important part of uh, Mercer undergraduate to have access to our scientists. These young people get to see world-class science being done every day in the labs here at the medical school. There are a number of uh, opportunities for undergraduate researchers here at the School of Medicine. As far as I know, most every um, investigator who has an active lab has had or has hosted um, various undergraduate students. And the unique part about Mercer University School of Medicine is that we have investigators who are doing all kinds of research. They're doing research in diabetes, uh, heart disease, uh, cancer, inflammation. So if a undergraduate researcher or undergraduate student is interested in pretty much anything, they can come over here and find somebody who we will possibly willing to work with them. So I really enjoy having undergraduates in the lab. I love to see the excitement on their faces when they get to learn new techniques and it just really clicks with them when they, they actually get to do something in the lab that they've learned about in their class. So it's very exciting and it's, it's, it does energize the lab and the research environment because they are so excited about what they're learning. And it's just a, a whole new, it kind of creates a whole new environment in the lab because the excitement is there and, and they're learning all these new techniques. I would like to do research as my career, potentially with uh, infectious diseases and genetics and finding a way to mesh the two, either through gene therapy or immunology. Haven't quite decided yet, uh, but that's kind of where I'm leaning currently. Um, so we're trying to identify novel long non-coding RNAs involved in muscle atrophy um, with the hope that what we find in our lab can then be applied to people with muscular dystrophy, astronauts on long space flight missions, or just extended bed rest patients in order to help protect the muscle from a genetic level. I applied to the Mercer Undergraduate Biomedical Summer Experience, MUBS, and I applied to two different faculty, but they were both already full, and the coordinator was like, hey, I think you and Dr. Pandor would be a really great match, and I've been in his lab ever since, and I love what we're doing. Um, the Looking at the muscle atrophy uh, has a direct correlation to my own life. Um, my mom has a genetic disease that leads to like neural spasms and paralysis. And so the research that we're doing now could directly apply to my own life. And so I think that's really cool. I'm a very real world application type person. So I love to see how things affect the real world. And if, I, if they, you just tell me something and you don't tell me why it happens or how it happens, then it just goes over my head. So I really like that I can see what's happening in a research lab and how it affects real people and then learn that in my classes and it makes me more excited about learning and just being able to make connections and um, put the real world into what I'm learning in class. Um, I hope to go to med school and become a physician one day. I didn't know if I wanted to continue doing research until I got into the lab and saw how much I enjoyed it. So now I definitely want to combine the research and the clinical side of things um, as a physician. What I do like is when I understand things, honestly, <laughs> um, because there's a lot that's just so unknown out there and it's just crazy when you start research that there's just so many things that you have yet to find out. That's what I really enjoy is like understanding and making progress and learning new things because I'm not a very patient person and so research was really hard when I first started because you know you fail and fail and fail and then finally something works and it's like the greatest day of your life. <laughs> If you are interested in research, you should do it. Um, talk to all of your professors. They're all really, really friendly and they all love research and they want to get you involved. And so definitely take advantage of that. Go talk to them. Thank you.